I, 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 am, I, am, I am extremely surprised that mm. Mr. Baku seeks to dismiss the involvement of Afaka. You see, the... He says relative... No, no, no. I'm talking... Let me tell you something. The people involved in the process are as important as the forum at which the matter is adjudicated. Because, after all, it is the people involved who kick-started the whole fuss, leading to a situation where a state entity intervenes and then it ends up in court. Mm. So we cannot dismiss it. So in this matter, timing, the people involved, the power they wield, the organizations used, and where the matter is determined finally, are all important. And in considering it, you cannot dismiss it. Look, Samson, I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that the Auditor General is the latest victim of a campaign of retribution and vendetta against persons deemed critical to this government. And it is not just him. You see, if it were just an isolated case of Mr. Dumelevo, we could make an exception and say that it, was, it is only due process that is being followed. Look, we know that this government has moved against people who criticize them. They have removed an EC chairperson who they gave notice they would be removing when they were in opposition. Senior security officials make pronouncements <coughs> that are deemed critical of the way government behaves. Suddenly, they find themselves in trouble. The facts they took, no, for, no, the, no, you, no, the no, facts they took for the petition just, to the president, which led to the removal of were not manufactured it, by them. Well, it's the same, it's the same procurement breach. Mm. And I'll come to the reason why I'm saying so. Because it is not only these individuals against whom there are allegations of procurement breaches. So government must show consistency to the extent that they are turning a blind eye to procurement breaches by senior government officials. It cannot be reasonably inferred that they are acting in good faith in the matters that they pursue. Mm. Something. Even who, 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 this may Listen, be a very critical I'll come to that. I'll come to that. This may be a very critical point. I'll come to that. Point because that. because yeah. if you look at the Kroll and Associates I'll come to that. They went back. Something. If you allow me, I'll come to that. To ask for things long after they had even started. They started a contract even before they gave them the contract. Yes, Samson, I'll come to that. I'll come, if you allow is me the, to flow. Is the crew Mr. Baku, if you allow me to flow. Uh, no, I'm just, if you allow me, I'm just to giving an yeah, example. If, if you allow me to flow, if, so, so, so if in the crew matter, if, no, they no, were no. able to go back and see, I'll do the process, Samson, if you allow cure me, the processes no, Samson, for them, why couldn't they do for Samson, this one? If you allow Samson, me, I'll, I'll make If we do this, I'll come back to you. This is like unleashing an octopus No. to go on rampage, bringing all sorts of issues on board. Why? We are not doing justice to the issue. Okay, it's now becoming speculative, conjectures and things. There's a focus here. The focus is that Yoko is attempting or has attempted to probe the AG. Uh, that is the auditor general. The AG says he's being intimidated for some things he's doing. Yes. And we know the things like, uh, he has done. Some see, like the, the government is not pleased uh, with. Uh, the case he sent to court, mm. the rate. Mm. I don't see Crow here. No, it's just no, of about, course, cannot just about uh, wrongful, yes. wrongful mandate. So what are we discussing? So that's Alex. why I say you've only done that. Okay. Okay. No, yes. it is not yes, go on. Felix, go on. Those, those that's facts, why you've done. Felix, go on. Felix, those go on. Those facts and instances are material. You go on, yes. He will say that in court. No, just a minute. You go on, go on. It is not everything that will be said in court. You it does not mean that those of us observing the process are precluded from analyzing what we believe the court to be informing the process. Okay, fine. Court of public opinion. You can judge. Even headmasters who have dared challenge aspects of free SHS have been fought against by this government. <laughs> Journalists who have done work <sighs> critical of this government have found themselves in trouble. Suddenly, why? Was it not your own Manasseh, who we are told by the Media Foundation for West Africa, was chased out of this country? He had to seek refuge in another country because of working. Did he say that government was, people were chasing oh, him? But why? Why? So who was chasing him? Samson, who was chasing him? It could be anybody. Ah. Oh. <laughs> let so me let's, let's go. Let's, let's, talk no. to, let's talk about so this government. Level, I'm coming. I'll come. Uh -huh. This government seeks to create a climate of fear and intimidation. All these pieces that I have put on the table here cannot be coincident. It cannot be coincidental. That the moment you begin to voice concern about the way this government is handling affairs, or if you are a public servant and you take steps to take on influential or powerful members of government, you suddenly find yourself in trouble. We cannot overlook that in analyzing matters. That is why I am gratified mm. that the civil society organizations have come together to lend support to Mr. Dumelovi. Because at the very least, this marauding government that is engaged in impunity must be brought to a screeching halt. Now, what are the issues? I spoke to you earlier about timing. 
Mr. Dumalovo gets invited to Yoko around the same time that he searches the senior minister over the whole matter. And something, if you have your ears to the ground, as I do, you would know who runs the who rules the roost at Yoko, who is in charge of audits, That's investigations that end up what, at Yoko. What do you mean by that? What I mean uh -huh. is that there is a committee whose membership includes the senior minister and Professor Diajman, who we know is engaged a in committee the allowed by law. Oh, of course, set up by the government. They are, look. Why? I no, know but, of NDC. But, I don't but know of is run I'm, by no problem. No problem. No problem. But something. Okay. Check how check how Yogo begins his investigations into all the people that it has investigated. At least those on the side of the NDC who are who find themselves involved in one investigation or the other. The people in charge are the senior minister and Professor Diajman. The senior minister is the subject of Which search. Which committee are you referring to? Oh, the the committee on audits. At Yogo. You recall. You recall mm. that when the NDC held a press conference... You said this committee is at Iyoko. They are not at Iyoko. It is a government committee. They are the ones who commission forensic audits, which eventually end up at Iyoko. So that's what you mean? Yes. So, so you can't no, say that... I'm they, not saying that... They, no, no, listen, they will be it, calling the shots oh, at Iyoko. Why? Why? Samson, I am telling you. I know that because I have friends and colleagues who have gone to Iyoko and have been told how the investigations came about. Both gentlemen... Have an ask to grind with Mr. Dumelovo. The senior minister, because of the crow matter, Professor Dia Jiman, is engaged in a very public spat with the Auditor General over some audits that the Auditor General refused to carry out, or some audits that he did that government found distasteful. So, in analyzing the issues, we cannot divorce these entities. Again, AFAG. AFAG is the one that began this whole brouhaha about the Auditor General. And who is AFAG? An MPP groupie. Why should we discount that in the analysis? Mr. Dumelovo himself speaks about the Daily Guide as the one newspaper that has waged a consistent campaign against him. Who was the Daily Guide? The MPP chairman. <laughs> so Mr. Bakos' attempt mm. to dismiss the involvement of these entities cannot stand scrutiny. Again, let us not create the impression that we are all Dallas in this country and that we think that the be-all and end-all of criminal processes is at the courts. It may be, well be true, but things don't just get to the courts. Why, at the very least, don't we know that judges have been influenced before? And that showed it. And if ordinary people carrying goods and yams ah. and a thousand cities can influence judges, are you going to underestimate the, the influence that public officials, Felix. powerful ones, can have on Felix. the court? I'm Felix. not saying anything. Felix. Felix. I'm not saying anything. Felix, let's, let's be fair to the facts. Yes. And to proceed on the basis so of I'm coming to, I'm proceeding. analysis work to suggest that, oh, you know, the judges... It has, listen, it establishes the beyond doubt. The judges are susceptible to being it compromised. It establishes beyond doubt that they are susceptible to be, being compromised. Judges have been removed because of that. So I don't know, I don't know why you are challenging... That's just a few judges, some. Good. So who is to say that some two cannot be influenced by powerful government officials if the argument were to be stretched? The point I'm making is that in this matter, whichever way you look at it, if you look at the facts available, you look at the gravity of the offense, and what the Auditor General is going through, it can only be the result of an attempt to silence him because his conduct is proven uncomfortable for government. In their view, he is touching fishes who they deem are too big to fall. That is what is happening. He is saying they should, he should rather be interested, like Koku said, focusing in the court. And we know that, no, the, court, we know that the courts have given judgments against government all the time. That they is do. Right. That Evidence is right. is there. It is not just that. The evidence is there. It is not just that. Because of his involvement in this matter, I suspect that what happened to others may happen to him too. He eventually may be asked to step and aside. They're saying what happened to others was unfair. It is unfair. Look, look. Let us not. Is, you see, Samson, when courts make pronouncements, when judicial bodies rule, you have no option than to be bound by their ruling. But let nobody suggest that that in itself represents finality when it comes to justice and fairness. There are many people by whom wrong has been done by courts and judicial bodies. Sometimes you see that the process is unfair. It is deeply flawed and slanted. That is something that has happened in our history as a, <coughs> as a country. So let us not dismiss those things. So when things begin to happen, and you see clear pieces in place that suggest a witch hunt, we must be bold to speak to it. That is why I commend the civil society organizations. That is why Mr. Dumelovo's challenge to Yoko's jurisdiction is an important step. At the very least, it shows that there are people who are still interested in ensuring that the public press is protected and are interested in taking on the powerful forces that want to undermine them. Mm. The point I made about government's own consistency 
in terms of the use of procurement breaches. Something, Charlotte Osei was removed on the basis of procurement breaches. There are former officials in the NDC government standing trial on the basis of procurement breaches. At least in the Crow matter, there is evidence to show that the uh, senior minister has been involved in procurement breaches. What process has been initiated to hold the senior minister accountable apart from Mr. Dumelobo's actions? Why? And what is the Crow matter? The senior minister signed a contract with Crow on behalf of the government of Ghana. The contract was dated 26 September 2018. To, to, and it took retroactive effect 13 February 2017. Yet approval was given to it on 14 November 2017. And even that approval was given to the National Security Council when it was Mr. Safumafo who is a signatory and was doing so on behalf of the government of Ghana. The National Security Council has a minister of national security. There's a minister of state in charge of national security. There's a national security advisor. There's a national security coordinator who I believe are all clothed with the power to the extent that they are mandated to do so to represent government in this transaction. To make matters worse, when the Auditor General looked into this matter and wrote management letters to the Ministry of Finance that did the payment to ask for evidence of work done, that is, in, and indeed, Kroll was engaged to help with investigations into the electronic gadgets of government officials who they suspected may have committed some crimes. They were also supposed to help with the recovery of assets for the state in terms of allegedly stolen monies and other assets belonging to the state. So the Auditor General requested that show us proof of this work. Show us how much was recovered in terms of funds and assets or any other work that may have been conducted. That information has not been forthcoming, yet payment has been made. Again, this is clearly an international financial transaction because Kroll is a UK-based entity. And we have a history where our Supreme Court has ordered the refund of money paid to entities who even executed work because of the lack of parliamentary approval. So that too is a breach. And yet the senior minister is not being held to account. The very man who takes the step to surcharge him so that we can recover that $1 million paid to him suddenly becomes the subject of Yoko investigation, an entity that the senior minister has significant influence over because of evidence available. And Mr. Baku tells us that we are, we are delving into the realm of absurdity and that we are, we are introducing an octopus into the debate. Well, this is a very material octopus whose tentacles <laughs> we can see visibly taking steps to hound an auditor general whose work has become problematic for government. Right? Uh, Samson, I suspect that what may happen eventually is that a group will petition the president and ask for Mr. Dumelovo to be asked to step aside, as was done to Mrs. Charlotte Osei. Well, if something had gone on wrong, but and, what has gone and, on wrong? And it's susceptible Something. to this process. You, is it we, have heard, plus... we have heard, we mm -hmm. have heard for example, mm -hmm. uh, a senior lecturer, lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, Maxwell Fukwa mm -hmm. say that, well, the things they are talking about, it should not even be going to Yoko. They should take a petition. And if they took a petition, the president may consider it. So well, what's well, about well, that? Well, uh, lawyer Fukwa would know, wouldn't he? He's the one who, who, who was behind the... Uh, Charlotte was, wasn't he? He was lawyer, please. Absolutely. But when I say he was, I don't, when we I don't are mean lawyers, that, we I, are I don't mean it personally. I don't mean it personally. personally. What interest. I mean is that he did work mm. that ensured Charlotte was removed. So, so, what, so, what, so what's the see, point? What's see, the, what's but the but point? But you see, again, consistency. Uh. Consistency. There's evidence mm. that as for some category of people, when petitions are presented against them, the president does not become a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt gets stuck. It is only in the cases of people deemed problematic for government that the conveyor belt works. And I don't have any personal difficulty with anybody. Why? I don't know that the chief justice, the current chief justice, outgoing chief justice, was a subject of a petition to the president. Is it outgoing or well, today, is she gone? today is actually the is she gone? she's well, supposed okay. to finish. Well, fine. I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm sure you are aware sure. that there's a petition against her sent to the president about two years ago, which has not been conveyed in spite of the fact that the president too says he's a conveyor belt. Too late. Um, is so, it? No, no, is it? No, no. Uh, so so, so, okay. so let, me, let me round up. Let Thank me round you. up. Thank you. So, Thank you. So I'm making the point mm. that Mr. Baku's efforts to dismiss the entities involved in this governmental conspiracy to get rid of Mr. Dumelovo cannot stand scrutiny. The people, <laughs> the process, and what is done are as important as the forum at which it is adjudicated. And I commend the civil society organizations for rising to the occasion. Indeed, I ask all Ghanaians to rise up to the occasion, because what is happening now 
is that a climate of fear and intimidation is being established. You cannot criticize government and get away with it anymore. That is at the heart of this particular matter. It is okay. not because government has an abiding belief in taking steps against persons who breach procurement laws. Because the evidence shows that they are, why? The NYA matter Sorry. involving Asigri and the, his two mm. deputies. Sorry. What Sorry. has happened? Was yeah. it not a clear uh, procurement violation where they awarded a 4.5 million Ghana City contract without yeah. any procurement process? Okay. Has, if you open, Thank you. Thank you.